Lawmakers are trying to address animal welfare by passing an ordinance that would ban stores from selling pets as it heads to the full Metro Council next. It's sponsored with bipartisan support. WHS 11's Ian Hardwit asked the bill's latest sponsor about the criticism that the ordinance has received. Now that the ordinance that would ban the sale of dogs and cats in stores across Louisville comes out of the Public Safety Committee, it's going to be heard by the full Metro Council this Thursday. Now that ordinance doesn't affect pet adoptions, which is what most stores like Feeder Supply or PetSmart provide. We have gotten more people reach out to us about this ordinance than anything else we've done. That's in the nine months Councilman Andrew Owen has been on Metro Council. He says support from his district is overwhelmingly in favor of the ban. When we spoke to Puppy Graham, a corporate puppy store, about this proposal back in August, they told us in a statement, we are against any ordinance that would reduce individuals' rights to choose where to obtain their pet, adding that it would prevent people from having a puppy bred with certain temperaments and characteristics as an emotional support slash service dog. But the ordinance's latest sponsor disagrees. I think if people are looking for a dog or a cat with certain characteristics, they can find them. This proposed law still permits local breeders to sell directly to customers, but provides some regulations on the conditions those pets are kept in. It requires kennels or catteries to feed on certain schedules, provide medical care, and maintain clean and spacious living spaces. Louisville Metro Animal Services says four businesses are currently licensed in Louisville to sell dogs and cats. Petland, another corporate pet shop, sent us a statement saying their upcoming Louisville location won't be able to open if the ordinance passes. In it, Louisville General Manager David Bravo says, if passed, this pet sale ban will hurt the economy, repeal consumer protections, cancel job opportunities, and invite black market puppy sales into the city. I moved my family and children here for this opportunity, and we were completely blindsided. Like I said before, adoptions are unaffected by the council's decision. The Louisville Metro Animal Services Shelter is full right now if you're looking to adopt. Reporting in Louisville, Ian Hardwick, WHAS 11, on your side. The Metro Council will meet again this Thursday at 6 p.m. Those meetings are open to the public if you want to weigh in on the proposed law, which is in front of Louisville's legislators.